President Biden will reportedly scale back on national media interviews and stick to local reporters during the rest of his campaign. But that didn't stop him from opening up to Hollywood elites ahead of a fundraiser in New York City. One reporter from Politico reporting or pointing out that the irony of this, he put this on, on, on Twitter, on X, saying, quote, number of times Jason Bateman has done a sit-down interview with President Biden, two. Nearly every print reporter who covers the White House, zero. Here to react is Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, always great to have you, um, especially on this You're Easter right. weekend. So I'm looking at this. The last time Joe Biden ran, he had the excuse of COVID, so he could hide out in his basement, and he had that excuse. Is he going to be able to do this, only meet with celebrities um, that are friendly to him, go on local stations where hopefully the, if he has a gaffe, it doesn't go viral? Um, why isn't he meeting with national reporters? Uh, well, when you're polling lower than any president at this stage of his presidency in polling history, no, I don't think you could do that again. In 2020, he had the COVID excuse. All he did was deflect attention to Donald Trump. Well, now he's the incumbent. His record is what is at stake here at the ballot box. And I think this is a strategy as far as local reporters and, and just meeting with them, if that's actually going to happen, Rachel, this is a strategy not to be seen. It's why Joe Biden right. passed up the annual Super Bowl interview, right, for the mm -hmm. second straight year. Tens of millions of viewers. That would have been a cream puff interview with CBS. And it's why he hasn't held, listen to this, even one solo press conference this year. He only hold, held three solo press conferences in 2023. Let's put that in context, all right? Joe Biden, three solo press conferences in the past 15 months. Donald Trump held 35 press conferences in his final year in office. So the White House has promised access to local outlets before Rachel. When he took office, the White House said he's going to do more local interviews. And then in his entire first year, he did exactly one local interview. And if you notice, by the way, every interview this president does, always handpicked with friendly outlets. It's always on tape, so it can be heavily edited. There's a reason for that, Rachel. Right. No, that totally makes sense. You know, when I first heard him was only doing podcasts, I was like, well, that's a weird strategy because podcast is so long form and you end up like saying things and telling what you yeah. really think. Um, I know that because I do that on my own podcast. Um, so, yours is great. I mean, this is a, it's, it's a little bit of a danger to do it, but I guess he's only doing like really, really soft um, podcast hosts. Absolutely. And, and, you know, Jason Bateman, right, right, who is one of the biggest Democratic supporters out there. He's Hollywood. There's nothing new uh, about that news. Uh, but that split screen moment this week, Rachel, where here you had Joe Biden yucking it up with Bateman and with the former yeah. presidents. And then you have Trump at the offices, uh, the services of officer Jonathan Diller and Joe Biden's acting like a president who's at 60 percent approval, uh, yucking it up with those guys and the insufferable Stephen Colbert and other but elites and millionaires fattening their coffers. I mean, that that's tell, told us so much. And I think we're going to see more moments like this where Donald Trump uh, is with actual people you know, on the ground in places like Pennsylvania or Wisconsin or Arizona or Georgia, and Joe Biden is off somewhere with Hollywood elites or doing some fundraiser in, in a big city. And I think in the end, that's yeah. why Donald Trump right now is the odds on favorite to win the presidency, because he's speaking to regular folks while Joe Biden is speaking to those who are in the richest 1%. No, I think you're right. And it's a real opportunity for Joe, uh, for Donald Trump. Um, if Joe Biden hi hides out, and Donald Trump is is out there, as you said, with the people. Um, it's an opportunity for him to to get his message out in a way with, with like, no competition, really, um, in, in so many ways. All right, Joe, great talking to you. I got an Easter egg roll ahead to Saturday, big big day. So uh, right. we'll, we'll we'll talk to you soon, North yeah. Jersey, if you want to come up after you're done. You got it, Joe. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.